Rock is afraid of absolutely everything. To be accountable and stand up to the mistakes you've made. People's Fund of Maui, because every dollar that you send is going to go into an account that goes directly to the people. The Rock and Oprah are canceled from all sides. You're so concerned about what's happening in Maui that you somehow managed to hire a private firefighting team to protect your land before the fire started. Oprah Winfrey and Dwayne Johnson, you know, the guy that played the same character in every f decided to take it upon themselves to ask you for your money. It's great. Doing the work. I love that. And they did kick off the fundraiser by dropping 10 million bucks. It's, it's in poor taste for a billionaire to ask anyone for money. In the wake of the destructive Maui fire, a storm of rumors and speculations erupted. Amidst the confusion, a serious accusation has emerged, implicating none other than the famed TV host, Oprah. Oprah has come under growing scrutiny for her post-Maui fire actions, and it seems that a number of celebrities have voiced their discontent. But I do not deny my faith. That's, that's an even bigger sin. You know, it's not popular in my uh, industry, but you know, I cannot deny my faith. While it may seem to the public that she has been assisting the victims, speculations paint a different picture. Nevertheless, as the real story unfolds, Oprah appears to have found herself in a state of anxiety, as it looks like more and more celebrities are now distancing themselves from the host. I want to make movies that are original stories that inspire people, make people feel really good, and man, challenge them to do good things. Now, speculations are running rampant, with some suggesting that Oprah may have been involved in some significant actions that have led celebrities to distance themselves from her, resulting in a cancellation wave. To get to the bottom of this situation, Let's delve into who these celebrities are and what might be the truth behind their actions. Oprah has faced mounting criticism for her actions in the aftermath of the Maui wildfire, and now it appears that Jason Momoa is the first public figure to address this issue. As a reminder, Oprah had enlisted Dwayne Johnson to share what many perceive as a misleading plea for financial assistance on social media. This is particularly noteworthy because Dwayne Johnson had previously made a statement regarding the fires, which some people find contradictory. The destruction and devastation that has hit our Hawaiian islands, our island of Maui, and I'm completely heartbroken. Given the circumstances, it's not unexpected to see Jason expressing frustration over the apparent misuse of his name to solicit financial support from ordinary individuals, especially when celebrities like Johnson and Oprah are involved in what some perceive as a deceptive approach to fundraising. Jason Momoa, best known for his role as Aquaman, took to his Instagram platform to raise awareness among his followers regarding scammers who are engaging in deceptive fundraising activities under the guise of supporting the disaster relief efforts for the Maui wildfire. In a video message, he revealed that imposters on social media have been pretending to be him and falsely requesting funds with the claim that they will be donated to Maui. He said, it's deeply heartbreaking and disgusting to know that there are people attempting to take advantage of this tragedy. There has been some people on Instagram pretending to be me asking for money. An increasing number of individuals are expressing skepticism about why extremely wealthy celebrities and billionaires would appeal for financial contributions from the general public. Speculation has arisen, with some people questioning whether these high-profile figures may have hidden agendas or motives behind their requests for money from ordinary individuals. Everything that I've seen transpire over these past couple of days, everything that continues to transpire, hour by hour, minute by minute, it, it's, it's, all, it's all heartbreaking. Upon closer scrutiny of the situation, it appears that both celebrities may be involved in what some perceive as deceptive practices within the Maui community and among individuals who are making contributions under the impression that they are supporting Jason Momoa's efforts. In response to this, Jason has publicly referred to these individuals as scammers and has issued a cautionary message advising people to exercise caution and refrain from making donations to unauthorized sources unless they are explicitly recommended by him. I am posting and reposting as much as possible to the proper places you can donate, but I am not reaching out to anyone. Jason Momoa has emphatically stated that he would never seek assistance or initiate outreach efforts through Instagram or any other platform. He underlines this point by questioning the necessity for him to personally reach out when he has already established legitimate channels through which individuals can contribute donations to aid the fire victims. So please do not send money to these up people. Lahaina underscore Ohana underscore Venmo is directly 
delivered to the families in need. Both prominent figures, the widely recognized TV host and Dwayne The Rock Johnson, have come under significant criticism for their perceived irresponsible actions in this matter. One person wrote, there should be laws where no person or corporation except for natives of such land can own more than one, maybe two acres. Also that that land is to be surrendered to the native population after 30 years. Some type of laws like that. Another one added, she's talking about the long and difficult process. Like it's a remodeling job she decided on a while ago. She's only going to donate money when they themselves start rebuilding. Didn't say much about helping the actual people. In response to the substantial public backlash they have encountered, Dwayne Johnson and Oprah Winfrey have opted to address the ongoing controversy through a video statement. They are leveraging their considerable fame and wealth to express their commitment to aiding individuals who have been displaced by the Maui wildfires. It's worth noting that Oprah owns a residence on Maui, and Dwayne spent a portion of his upbringing in Hawaii, which likely adds a personal connection to the situation for both of them. We begin with some big names teaming up to help Hawaii's wildfires life victims. Oprah Winfrey and Dwayne Johnson revealed this morning they are joining forces. They've created the People's Fund of Maui. Both celebrities have taken significant action by establishing a relief fund for the Maui wildfires. They've made an impactful start by contributing an initial generous sum of $10 million to this fund, naming it the People's Fund of Maui. This fund operates under the umbrella of the Entertainment Industry Foundation and is committed to providing direct financial assistance to individuals who have been affected by the devastating Maui wildfires. The wildfires regrettably resulted in the loss of at least 115 lives earlier this month and inflicted extensive damage on the towns of Kula and Lahaina. And the goal is to give cash directly to the people who need it. The mission of the People's Fund of Maui is to offer ongoing financial support to individuals over the age of 18 who have lost their primary residences in the wildfires. This support will amount to $1,200 per month. The assistance program is designed to encompass both renters and exclude property owners who do not reside in the affected dwellings. The fund will be sustained by a combination of public donations and the significant initial grant provided by Oprah Winfrey and Dwayne Johnson. Every adult resident who was displaced on Maui is eligible for get this $1,200 per month during the recovery. Oprah and The Rock are giving $10 million to get the fund started. Furthermore, in a statement, Oprah said, I have been meeting with people throughout the community that were impacted by the fires over the last few weeks, asking what they most needed and how I could be of service. The main thing I've been hearing is their concern about how to move forward under the immense financial burden. The community has come together in so many wonderful ways, and my intention is to support those impacted as they determine what rebuilding looks like for them. Reportedly, Jason Momoa has also taken the opportunity to express his concerns about Oprah's involvement and any potential entanglements that may be making life difficult for Maui's locals. However, even before his remarks, the Maui public had already become aware of allegations of predatory realtors coercing people to sell their properties to super rich celebrities. These issues highlight the broader challenges and tensions between wealthy individuals moving to Maui and the local community. Now, some residents say they've been receiving calls from wealthy real estate investors and developers who are trying to purchase their fire-ravaged land. The alleged involvement of the TV host in Maui's properties has reportedly had a significant impact on property prices, causing them to soar to levels that are entirely unattainable for the local population. It seems that in essence, the local residents are facing systematic disenfranchisement from their own land as Hollywood's influence continues to reshape the island's real estate landscape. On Maui, the average home price is now $1.2 million, while the average income stood at just $88,000. Maui resident Goldie and Lowe, who lives in Napili just north of Lahaina, has revealed that she received no fewer than five solicitations from various entities expressing interest in buying her house. Interestingly, her her property was untouched by the destructive wildfires. Lowe expressed her feelings of being dismayed and disturbed by the tone of the emails that inundated her inbox shortly after the fires had ravaged the area. This anecdote highlights the heightened interest from outside parties in Maui's real estate, which has intensified in the aftermath of the wildfires. The email, which addressed Goldian by name, stated, We've identified your home at 6 Kilinahe Street as one that we'd potentially like to invest in. It's always a good idea to see what your home might be currently worth. We've done an evaluation on your home and you may be eligible for a cash offer. 
Certainly, questions are emerging regarding the identities and motivations of the entities pressuring homeowners to sell their properties. Some insiders have raised speculation that these agents may be acting on behalf of Hollywood elites who have been steadily acquiring properties in Maui. This has led to concerns that these acquisitions might be part of a broader strategy to exert significant influence over the entire island, sparking worries about the long-term impact on the local community and the island's way of life. Her places and her acres remain absolutely untouched. Guys, does this sound familiar? Certain individuals have put forth extraordinary claims, suggesting that influential figures such as Oprah Winfrey, who possesses valuable property on the island, may have somehow been involved in orchestrating the wildfire for undisclosed reasons. They know how powerful we all are together. And if everybody knew what really happened, and if we all stood up against it, it's done. Especially as Islanders, do you know? In addition to these revelations, there has been press discussions about how much has been lost. And for some people, allegedly including Tom Hanks, it's been too much and Oprah could be the reason. You can't handle the truth, Wall. Right. And they want to know that someone is looking out for us, for them. Well, looking at them. Speculation has arisen regarding a possible connection between Tom Hanks and Oprah Winfrey concerning questionable activities occurring in Maui. As the residents of Maui face yet another day of devastation caused by the tragic wildfire, which has resulted in loss of life and the displacement of hundreds, there is a mounting curiosity surrounding the island's wealthiest landowners and their notable absence amid this crisis. Frustrating, and I just want to remind all you real estate investors around the world, like Lahaina is not for sale. Um, please don't reach out to these families and take advantage of them. Even the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development appears to be shocked at how bad things have gone. Gotten. Adrienne Todman, the deputy secretary for the department, couldn't hide her shock. We're all come together to make sure that we are providing families with an opportunity to hold on to their land, hold on to uh, their homes and creating. Many TikTokers have raised concerns and pointed fingers at billionaires like Oprah Winfrey, suggesting a conspiracy theory that links the fires to an alleged scheme to acquire valuable Maui land from indigenous communities. This theory has surfaced due to the belief that the celebrity acquired a substantial 2000 acre parcel on the island in March 2023. After 2017, Oprah continued expanding her land in Montesieto to over 70 acres, including buying a a4 land. In addition to the speculation, Ulupalakwa Ranch proceeded to sell two larger properties, one covering around 520 acres and the other approximately 330 acres, to Oprah Winfrey's Los Angeles-based entity, Harpo Inc. These transactions amounted to $3.89 million and $2.47 million, respectively. While this theory capitalizes on genuine concerns about local residents facing housing shortages and the potential loss of their homes, it is crucial to approach it with critical evaluation and a healthy degree of skepticism, as conspiracy theories often lack solid evidence. A Twitter user wrote, Oprah Winfrey has been buying up land in Maui like crazy, 520 acre plot for $3.89 million, 330 acres for $2.47 million, 2023, two 10 acre swaths of land for $100,000 each. In the last few years, she has gone from about 100 acres of land in Maui to over 1,000 acres. The tweet underscores an intriguing pattern of destructive events occurring in proximity to the host's properties while her own land remains unscathed. This pattern first came to light in 2017 when a devastating fire swept through numerous homes near her Montecito residence, yet her estate remained untouched. It's burned through 234,000 acres so far and 18,000 homes are still threatened. Undeterred by these challenges, she continued to expand her Montecito property holdings, amassing over 70 acres, which included the acquisition of a four-acre complex in 2019. Regrettably, this complex was subsequently impacted by mudslides shortly after the 2017 fire. Right now, mandatory evacuations are in effect in the upscale area of Montecito. That's where a lot of celebrities have homes, including Oprah. The recurring events have indeed piqued curiosity and spurred discussions about their potential causes. It's crucial to emphasize that correlation does not necessarily imply causation. However, the tweet hints at a possible link between Oprah Winfrey's property acquisitions and the subsequent disasters. The tweet's call 
to wake up serves as an encouragement for further investigation into this intriguing topic. Wake up. These fires are absolutely controlled. They burn down what they want to burn down and then leave land and properties untouched. While the tweet may lack definitive proof for its assertions, it does raise legitimate questions that warrant careful investigation. It is crucial to thoroughly examine the details surrounding the fires and related incidents to determine whether there is a substantial connection to the host property ownership. Moreover, a comprehensive analysis should also consider other potential factors that could contribute to these unfortunate events. Y'all, did y'all know that they shut the water off? They shut all the water off. So some people, I seen a video saying like, oh, this smart man used the water hose. For more than 15 years, Oprah has maintained a part-time residence in Maui. Her property portfolio on the island includes multiple holdings, notably 870 acres of land in Kula, an area located in central Maui, situated between the South Maui and upcountry wildfire regions. According to fire officials, as reported by the Honolulu Star Advertiser, the Kula area suffered destruction with at least two homes lost and approximately 80 individuals evacuated from 40 residences. This all comes after another fire that burned about three acres in Lahaina. That was declared fully contained this morning. In addition to her Kula holdings, the host owns an additional 1,200 acres scattered across various locations on the island, including areas like Hana and the vicinity of Mount Haleakala. Importantly, these areas are notably distant from the ongoing fires. Her farmhouse retreat, situated on the slopes of Mount Haleakala, a towering 10 foot volcanic summit, features a charming wraparound porch that evokes memories of her rural upbringing. In 2006, she said in an interview, I love, love, love my house. It's a gem so sweet and exquisite, such a real, normal house. It feels like a nice blanket, a lovely and soft cashmere one. Speculation has indeed surfaced regarding Oprah Winfrey's absence from the wildfire-affected areas, despite her strong connection to the island and substantial land holdings there. However, reports indicate that the star has made commitments to help the victims. In a demonstration of her steadfast commitment, the former talk show host has pledged a substantial donation to provide support for the residents and areas affected by the wildfires. Reportedly, she said, you know what this week has taught me is that when you don't know what to do, you do whatever you can. I went to visit one of the big shelters here at the War Memorial Stadium and asked people what it is they needed and then went shopping for some things, some, you know, basic things like towels and sheets and shampoo and other necessities. Reports indeed confirm that Oprah Winfrey has been actively engaged in offering assistance to those affected by the Maui wildfires. She was witnessed personally delivering supplies to a shelter that is aiding the fire victims. Over the past few days, she has dedicated her time to providing support to survivors at the War Memorial Complex in Wailuku, where around 1,000 residents have sought refuge in the aftermath of the destructive wildfires. So I came earlier just to see what people needed and then went shopping. Oh. Because often, you know, you, you know, make donations. During her visit to the shelter assisting fire victims, Oprah Winfrey described a scene where individuals were packing their meager belongings in garbage bags and huddling closely together on cots. This shed light on the challenging and difficult circumstances experienced by those affected by the wildfires. Additionally, there have been reports suggesting that some children went missing during Oprah's visit to the fire victims, raising concerns and questions about their whereabouts. As one person tweeted, they're hiding Oprah, picking up the kids lost and taking them to her new school. One of the individuals Oprah Winfrey encountered at the shelter was Kanani Adolfo, who serves as both the wife of a firefighter and a dedicated volunteer. Despite experiencing the loss of her own family members in the wildfires, she has remained a constant and resolute presence at the shelter since it opened, offering support and assistance to those in need during this challenging time. She said, I'm just a volunteer. I'm a nobody. I'm just part of the public. This is my calling. I was born and raised here. I'm never leaving. More recently, video footage showed the television host actively participating in the distribution of supplies to Maui residents who had sought refuge in a nearby gymnasium. It was reported that her initial entry into the temporary shelter was denied as she intended to bring a TV crew along. Over the weekend, Maui officials provided further clarification on the situation, shedding light on the details of what occurred.
To clarify, Oprah was able to visit our shelter, and we thank her for instructing media journalists and camera crews to remain outside. We welcome Oprah to continue to uplift our community's spirit and give her aloha to victims of the tragic disaster, the statement read. Persistent rumors have circulated concerning Oprah and various real estate entities allegedly being involved in the acquisition and sale of land that holds deep cultural significance for local communities. These concerns center around the potential exploitation of sacred sites. For generations, Glen Keela's family has been steadfast in protecting sections of the Wayana coast from development. Nonetheless, this cherished site has continually faced challenges from foreign developers and mainland property owners since the 1980s. The emergence of luxury developments in nearby Makaha has further intensified concerns about the future of Kiao Valley, often referred to as Ohikilolo. Frustration among residents in Waianae over illegal camping. As our Eddie Dow reports, their concerns are apparently being heard, but finding a solution won't be easy. For her home in Montecito, the TV host acquired it for $6.85 million, which coincidentally was the same price that Jeff Bridges and his wife, Susan Geston, had paid for it five years prior, according to records. While Oprah Winfrey was expanding her real estate holdings in Montecito, Jeff Bridges was in the process of part with his properties. The Big Lebowski actor sold his larger Montecito property, a nearly 20-acre Tuscan-inspired vineyard estate, for $15.925 million. He also sold several parcels of land in Malibu earlier in the year, as previously reported by The Times. Montecito creates a privacy and a relaxed lifestyle because it's small. You have the ocean running along one side, you have the mountains running along the other. Amid the extensive destruction wrought by numerous major wildfires on Maui, Hawaii, questions have arisen about the apparent lack of damage to the host's ranch on the island, sparking speculation and curiosity. Furthermore, there have been circulating rumors suggesting that the presence of her houses and properties in the area might be a motivating factor for her frequent visits to the region and her support for the victims. These circumstances have allegedly prompted other Hollywood celebrities to express their concerns about individuals who seem to be benefiting from these devastating fires without adequately considering the plight of the victims. That's all for today, folks. Until next time, goodbye.